kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on Flashlight app using Motion Shake in Android Studio. Okay, guys. So, in this video, uh, we will start working on the service. So, here we I will create a new Java class, and we will name the class as Shake Detection Service. And this service will extend with service, and here we will implement all the abstract methods. Oh, sorry, I mean the methods. And here we will implement the sensor event listener. So I am going to implement the server service. Sorry, sensor. event listener and it we will also need to implement the abstract method on accuracy changed and on sensor changed okay so first of all here we will have a couple of uh, variables so first of all we will have the variable as integer mean okay so here we can have int public final int integer min time between shake okay so we need to prevent the multiple shaking at a time so we how can we do that so we can say min time between shake and that will be 1000 i mean one second and after that we will be using the sensor manager class so we can say sensor manager equal to null then we can use a vibrator okay so i think i we don't need the vibrator now so here we can have private okay uh, okay so so let's have the vibrator here also and then we will have private long last shake time equal to 0 and then we can also have private boolean is flash light on equal to false and then we can have private float shape threshold and okay so here now we can have a, a, an empty constructor for the service so we can say okay so here let's first of all okay so we need to add it to the android manifest so go to your android manifest and after this activity here we need to use the service and we need to declare it here and now the error will be gone so here we need to we we were creating the constructor so we can say public shake detect service and after that we need to have uh, override the method on create and then inside this on create method we are first of all going to access the vibration of the phone so we can say vibrator get system service and here we can pass context dot vibrator service and then we can say sensor manager equal to and let's just uh, type cast it so we can say sensor manager and we can say get system service and we can use the sensor service then after that we now can check if the sensor manager is not equal to null then we can say sensor accelerometer equal to sensor manager dot get default sensor and here we can pass the sensor dot type accelerometer and 
after that we can say sensor manager dot register listener okay so we will be registering the sensor manager and then we can we will pass this then we can say accelerometer and finally we can say sensor manager dot sensor delay normal all right and after this sorry if condition here we can now say shake threshold equal to okay so let's just uh, set the shake threshold here but in my next part of the video so i will we will be using the we, we will be allowing the, the user to change this threshold okay so here we can say threshold equal to 10.0 okay 10.0 f okay and after that here after the if statement now we have got the threshold okay so here we have just um, uh, used the sensor manager to register the listener and after that okay so now we will be working on the on sensor change method and here first of all um, we can check here okay so if event dot sensor dot get type and if it is equal to sensor dot type accelerometer then here we can say long current time and we can say current time equal to system dot current time release and here we can check if current time minus last shake time is greater than minimum time between shake and here we can have some values so for we have we need to have three coordinates for x y and z for in uh, so for x we can simply say event dot value zero and for y we can say event dot value one then float z equal to event dot value two okay and here we can have double acceleration equal to math dot square root and here we can say math dot pow power and we can use x and 2 then we need to plus it and we need now need to use math dot power of y and 2 and similarly we will add another so we can say math dot power and we can use z and finally we will subtract it with sensor manager dot gravity earth okay and now here we can check if acceleration is greater than shake threshold and here we can say last shake time equal to current time and then we can check if is flashlight if flashlight is not on then we can say is flashlight on equal to torch toggle and we need to pass on okay and also instead if it if the flashlight is already on so we need to pass the command off so we can say is flashlight on equal to torch 
toggle and here we can pass this off okay so for this uh, torch toggle method we need we now need to use the uh, we need to create another class and that class will be utility and inside this class we can have our method for the uh, toggle uh, torch toggle so for that go to your main activity and just copy this okay so no it's not like this okay so here we now need to copy this and we now need to go to utilities and we need to paste it here and let's set the method as public and for this utility first of all we we will be sending the context so first of all let's create the constructor so we can say utility and here we can pass the context here and here we can simply create the context object so we can say this dot context equal to context and here we can say context dot get system service and also we need to use the public is switched on equal to false okay so it will be false by default public boolean all right and now we just need to call the method so for that first of all we need to use utility and here we can create the utility we need to uh, initialize the utility inside our own create method so we can say utility equal to new utility and we can pass this and after that here we can use utility dot torch toggle let me copy it here and it is saying that we need to handle the exception okay so we need to make it boolean i think it is void so here we can have the hit as boolean but why is still here an error let me see where it is being used and now the error is removed and for the utility here we can change it to i think with uh, i don't know where is the error okay so here we can just return true okay sorry and here we can just return this is switched on all right guys so i hope it is done so also we need to add the permission so we can say vibrate and here now we can just test our application and for that let me connect my phone and here i have uh, now we will try to run it let me also open the side sync so that i show you the output
okay guys so i think i have uh, forgotten to start the service uh, this service so inside our main activity here we can just start it so we can say intent i equal to new intent and here we can say this and shake detection service dot class and finally we can say start service and we can pass intent okay so now let's run it again and first of all let me con uh, open the side sync and now it is connected and i will just run it okay guys so now application is running and if i switch it on and off so now the application is switched on and off all right guys so i think you have understood the concept behind this app so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye